Good morning and blessing to those who are tuning in to The Unknown Prophet. I've got a couple of things to take care of before I give you the word that God gave to me. One is that I am better. And if I sound tired and, <laughs> and sound draggy, it's not because I'm really tired. It's just that I've been fighting that allergy. But the allergy is better. I'm taking my quote, meds. I'm sucking on the honey and drinking tea, and I, I am just fortified. The second thing that I wanted to bring out is that apparently there's always people who are trying to con other people out of something. And in this case, one of you all have let me know that there is a person claiming to be me using, I think it's Telegram app. Uh, I There is a Telegram app. I checked that out. I did not open it up. But apparently they're using that, proclaiming to be the unknown prophet, Fred Watkins, and asking people to donate money. The first thing I would say about that is I do not ask people to donate money. Those who have called or who have contacted and said they would like to donate, we furnish a way for that to happen, but we do not ask for money to be donated. Oh, for those of you who are donating money, I will let you know that here recently we've sent $500 to the children in Gaza through an organization that I know well. It's a very, very qualified organization. And as the money comes in, we will send more into organizations that can use it to bless people. And they are Christian organizations. Enough said about that. Now, if you have your God in a box. You probably haven't been watching me long because it seems like he always takes himself out of the box when I'm, when I'm around. <clears throat> and you'll find that I use my cup for other things than just <laughs> putting coffee in. I'm not advertising. It just happens I have a Wawa cup and it's easier for me to hold it that way than it is any other way. What he, what he gave me on the 16th, a couple days ago, is an analogy, which he uses all the time. I sat down and was praying and I asked the father if he had anything for me. He said, yes, I do. And I think you'll enjoy it. He said, watch and I'll show you. And as I watched, a vision came into being, and it was a triple-deck ice cream cone. <laughs> I broke out laughing, and I asked him if that's what I was supposed to be seeing. And he said, yes, and I know he was smiling. He said, now continue watching. As I watched in the vision, I saw another cone, but it was without ice cream. It was just an empty cone. And he said... Son, the full cone is a symbol of those of my children who have accepted me, received salvation, and allowed me to fill them with the fullness of my spirit. And the things that I want to give them for themselves and to minister for me. They have the cone full and the ability to enjoy it. The empty cone is those who have come to me and received salvation, but have stopped there. They have the cone, but there is nothing in it. They have either chosen not to fill it with those things I desire for them to have, or they have simply never been taught that there are, is more. They are satisfied with an empty cone and even tell others how blessed they are. And true, son, they are blessed with salvation, which is the basis for all I want to do in their lives and the assurance of their life with me for eternity. Without that, there could be nothing. 
I do not make light of that. I am thankful for their salvation, but there is so much more that I desire to give them. So much that they could do for the kingdom here on earth. And then, son, there's another picture that I did not show you. That is the ice cream cone with the ice cream melting and dripping down the cone and becoming messy. That is a picture of those who have sought after and received salvation and have sought to move further into a relationship with me. They have done that, but as I have filled their cone, they have hesitated to eat of what I've given them. When they eat of what I have given them, they go forth and they share my word with others. They pray for others. They care for my people that are hurting and whatever else I call them to do. When they don't eat of the ice cream, so to speak, their cone has been filled and they tell others about it. But there is no outward sign of the eating of the ice cream. It becomes a confession without evidence and thus it becomes messy. For my children to fully enjoy and reap the benefits of the ice cream, they need to consume it. And as they do, I will begin to refill their cone with more of my gifts and my power to keep their cone of salvation full. I speak this to you, my children. Don't be satisfied with an empty cone. Allow me to fill it for you. Some of you will say, well, how do I get my cone filled? I don't see any way to fill it. The problem there is that your church may not be giving away that which will fill your cone. If you truly seek me and are serious, I will find a way to get your cone filled, but it may take longer than I would like. Ideally, your church will be providing a quality and a quantity of ice cream and will be teaching you how to eat it. But unfortunately, that may not be the case for many. All they provide in those cases are just the cone. They bring you to salvation and leave you sit there. And that's sad. The I added this sad. That is my word to my children tonight, son, and I hope you enjoyed your cone. <laughs> <laughs> I love my father. He is something else. He just keeps me on edge all the time. Anyway, that's God's word to his people. I hope you all enjoy your ice cream. I know I'm enjoying mine. <laughs> there, are, there are those that don't think I should be eating it, but that's still not their problem, not my problem. It's their problem. <laughs> God bless. I pray that you'll have a wonderful week. Stay well. This is the Unknown Prophet, Fred Watkins, signing off. <laughs>